So today we're working on a 2014 Volkswagen Jetta with a two liter engine, four cylinder engine. And if you think that your timing marks may have gotten off by either uh, replacing the cam belt or uh, for some other reason, like we replaced the camshaft sensor and we're gonna check and make sure the timing marks are still correct. So, first step, take the uh, right front tire off and access the lower crankshaft area. Alright, step one to uh, check your timing marks, take the uh, right front tire off and uh, put some jack stands or like here we got some solid wood blocks to hold the car and under something that's sturdy. Then we're going to take this inner fender well off and you can see like right here the uh, torque screws, the torque screws. So there's like five or ten of them under there. We'll do that and right now. So when you're taking this uh, inner fender well off there's the obvious ones and here and here and there's some more up here and here and there's several up under your front bumper like under here and over there and even further forward and under on from that bottom side that you can't really see easily so there's a bunch of under this front area that you have to get like actually like five or six of them Okay, up top here, you need to remove this camshaft cover. There's a little clip right here. And there's a clip, same on the back side. Move these hoses out of the way. And work it up and out to get access to the camshaft gear. And you can see here the, the mark is like a little groove on the tooth and we're gonna turn it and access the crankshaft down below and check those timing marks so the way to find top dead center for your time take the uh, number one spark plug out and turn the engine over till the piston comes up and it'll come up twice one on compression and once on uh, when it's exhausting the the uh, air back out so we want the compression stroke that we're looking for Look what the, do so what have? we're trying to do is get the uh, screwdriver that's coming up and out to be at top dead center and what we decided to do is we put the car it's a manual transmission put it in fourth gear and we're rotating with a bar and a couple of lug nuts here so it's actually going through the transmission and uh, is turning the engine over. So, let's see. I am gonna move it. Okay, we're gonna watch the screwdriver. Okay, it's coming up. Keep coming. It's coming up. Coming up. 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 Okay. Yeah, try turning it a little bit. Yeah, it's going down, so go the other way. Yeah. No, no I, I think it's going down again. So we got top dead center and we got the timing mark and we slid the belt off, turned the cam until it was lined up with the uh, arrow on the cover right there. There's a little arrow. So it's lined up with this timing mark and we slid the belt back on. And now we're tightening the uh, tensioner for the cam belt. 
and we'll have to put the spark plug back in, but check the timing and see how, it, how she runs. All right, let's try it and see what it does. Woo! Sounds good. Now I gotta put the cover back on and tighten it up. Let me smooth. Okay, to finish up, we're gonna have to put this inner fender liner back in with about. 10 or 15 of those torque screws and put your tire back on and uh, then take it for a test drive. Okay, step one, we're gonna check the codes of my scanner here and see if there's any or erase them if there are. So, One code found. EVAP system leak detect pump control. That's the other error I was getting is a 2402 to replace the um, EVAP pump, which is this right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase the codes. Yes. View data. Display data. Okay, let's see what it does. Finally, pretty good. Finally, a little high right now. It's thinking about finally down. So. Pretty smooth. And before I could feel the, the misfire, like in the steering wheel, a little bit. It's right there at 800, which this is a manual transmission, so that's about right for manual. So to try it on a test drive, it sounds good. Okay, test driving. Check engine lights, running strong, no skips, misfires, or anything. So, I would say this engine is going to be good. Final check with the scanner, reading codes, so no faults detected.